Hi everyone, welcome back to Bayonetta. Yay! Woo! Woo! Again, another just a quick reminder: mature content, all that good stuff. Yeah, it's we'll say that for but, the first few parts at yeah. least. We'll say yeah. that for the first few parts. After that, I'll get a little redundant. So. And again, just the first few parts. again, we're playing this because she was announced for Smash. Woo! Okay. You've been Please. recapped. We just did the prologue, yeah. and now we go on to chapter one. Basically, Bayonetta is just now oh, on the quest. Oh, right. I forgot about this. Attack. Angel attack. After Angel every attack. chapter you do, you play Angel attack. What's this? Is this okay. a game? Yeah. This is basically like a little bonus mini game that if you attack all the angels, you can use the points that you score and get an item. You won't Ooh. do it with the game. Mm. Raise your cable and your permission. You may fire three times during the game. So, if I find any more bullets lying around in the game You'll get world, an additional three shots. I'll get an additional three shots. Can you use the touchpad? No, no. I, you just use the control no. stick and the Dang. Y button. Y button. <laughs> was this in the Xbox version? Yes, it was. Okay. Uh, for this, after you finish it... You, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I never <laughs> noticed that. Oh and not be friends. <laughs> At <laughs> Platinum <laughs> Games. <laughs> Platinum <laughs> Games makes a game in their game. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um... So basically, you aim these ones over here. They'll do um, three points. Usually, what I try to do is I get a headshot and yeah. ten kills. Oh, the ones back there will give you ten points. So, oops! If you get a ah, if you get a double kill, you get uh, ten points. It is a little See, harder than it looks, though. It is harder than it looks. Uh, okay, right. now you can buy items with the points you get, and you'll see in a minute. So I can buy all of these items. However, lollipops. I'm not going to be buying any items. How really? come? Because Wait, you get penalized for any item you use. Oh. I will only use, in, it's only in the first game, I will only use an item if I so desperately have to. So if oh, I am, like, okay. about to die, say, when I fight Jean or something, because I do tend to get really low on health when I fight her... I will probably use a green herb or a mega green herb. You All see, right. my Read playthrough of Bayonetta, Item City. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's like, probably going to be your first playthrough, most like, likely. It is my first playthrough. Yeah. yeah. So, and really. And I was like that too in my first playthrough. Mm -hmm. Since I played this multiple times, I try to use right. as little. But if you don't want to buy anything, you could also exchange them for Halos. Yes. 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 Which, is, mm -hmm. which I'm about to show right now. You push right, B, yeah, you can exchange it for every point. He's it's 100. Observing. He's yeah. experiencing. For yeah. every point, it's 100 Halos. Mm. So that's why I usually. That ten, that's why I tend to just exchange them at the end. All right. Well, let's get on to the level. Woo! Let's go. Woo! I'm yeah. so f smart in this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so damn smart. Is that a cat? <laughs> and humble, too. <laughs> Big okay. Inlet. Also, can we talk about that little figure? It's got I know, very right? pointy It's nose. adorable. It's, it's very... adorable, too. It's All like, right. if there was a chibi bayonetta, they had to put in the game. Yeah. <laughs> chibi bayonetta costume. It even does it on that, too. It shows you what character you play, because you can unlock Jean later in the game. Yeah. However, she's incredibly hard. You have to get platinum on each chapter. Ooh. Or trade oh, 9,999,999 halos at one of the cheap. God! Wow! They Jesus went a little Christ. out there for yeah. that unlockable. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, since this is chapter one, are we going to do Nintendo costumes yet? Or do you think you still regular that. Bayonetta? Are we going to switch a costume every chapter? Uh, um, I'm only going to do the have. Nintendo costumes at first, and then I'm just going to go back to the default. Oh okay. my god, I, Daisy. <laughs> oh yeah, you can do Daisy. All right, you can do let's Princess start Peach, from Peach, Daisy, then and then Link, Samus, and then Samus. And, and right. then, so. um, I'm not going to use Link until I get Shiraba, because then you can use um, the Master Sword instead. Okay. Right. And it does an interesting um, visual effect change. All right. I still found this so weird when... It was revealed. Oh yeah, especially since a, you can summon kind of Bowser. You summon Bowser. Instead yeah. of uh, Madama Butterfly. We do? Oh my yeah. gosh, that's what? so good. You're, you're gonna see. I You'll see, see that. I'll actually show you in the training menu. Yeah, I wanna see that. <laughs> yeah, just do like punch, kick, punch. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god, that's great. <laughs> I, I, I think for out. me it's just about the uh, the that peach and the peach and daisy ones just feel they very odd. <laughs> for me. Oh, you. I want to point out another cool thing too. These costumes. Um, they do change your currency. So if you do the Peach and Daisy costume, it changes it to coins. That's, uh, nice. that's wow, so cool. That's oh, why does it change nice. for the, the Samus so costume? It's yeah. still Halos, but oh, for okay. Link, it does rupees. All right. It's so cool. All right, anyway, let's get on. Uh, Indiana cool. Jones map. <laughs> yeah, Just a little. I found this across. map at the market, and I thought it might be useful for you. Where is oh Michigan? Yeah, yeah, where's yeah, Michigan? Yeah, where's yeah, Michigan? Yeah, where's yeah, Michigan? Yeah, where's Michigan? Do we not matter to you? Do we not matter to you? Chaos Emerald. Yeah, it's Chaos Emerald. So much second. 
Thanks, I know. That's supposedly the white eye. First, yes, first yeah, Eggman. Thank you, Sarah. We already had the rings, dude. Don't forget Japan. the rings. Okay, guys. Yeah. Sega doesn't think we exist. Watch. No. <laughs> Thank you, Sega. Thank you, Sonic. I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter. <laughs> and apparently, oh wait, no, never mind. Cause we're going on a train list right now. This is I was about to say. just Indiana Jones. Like, there's no, there's nothing it about this. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's a lot of references in this. In fact, like, one of the levels, um. Near the end, uh, what is that shooting game? It's like uh, Angel Attack? No, it's like what Space is that Something. Shooting game? Beta. No, it's Beta. Space Something. Space Invaders? No. <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it when we get to it. You'll see. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, oh it's, no. Empty. Space. it's empty. Okay. Who's is this? That's fine. Okay. It's empty. Phew. Alright. I was just like, what did my phone uh, just touch? These are the only memories she has at this point. Do you keep so. your pants packed and recycle them? Or do you just throw them away? Yeah, just throw them away for right now. I'm sorry, these costumes but are a bit ridiculous. That looks okay. so weird. That's, yeah, yeah, that's why sense. I don't use them. For the settings, yeah, it's like all dark just showing them off. Yeah, we're just showing them off. Yeah, like my first playthrough, I'm not doing any of the costumes. Yeah. Just because I want to experience it. I think the thing is just with the Nintendo costumes as well, they just look just so... The Peach and Daisy ones look so contrast to, you know, the gothic nature <laughs> of Bayonetta. Bayonetta! Bay 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> So Savannah, what do you think of this game so far? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely interesting. Oh, psh! Oh. Key character. Well, if the game is slowing around, slowing down here, in this, I would assume so. Listen to my voice. I'm that cute. Fun fact: this guy, guy that you. that mysterious voice, is actually voiced by Liam O'Brien. Oh, the it? voice of Gara. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it. That was my foot, Ryan. God, oh, this looks sorry. so good on this TV. Yeah. yeah. What do you have on oh. your TV? I, I, I think this is just a regular 1080p, even though we're. This is just on HDMI. My TV doesn't yeah. even look like this. Well, uh, you know, uh, it, it's. Interesting, we're not even playing this at 1080p, we're playing this at 720. Wow. Yeah. wow. Is it yeah. upscaled at all? Uh, no. Oh yeah, so... Oh yeah. Ow! <laughs> <You're in the laughs> <big>. shot <laughs> It may be part of the religious doctrine, but everyone is wearing holy vestments. As long as I'm in Purgatorio, I won't be able to intervene in their affairs. Except for one. But that Except also when you shoot them in the face! One. But that also means I, that I should be able to get around this place without their interference either. You can also scare them. Exactly. So interference, my butt. <laughs> <laughs> Run! Massive chaos and destruction. I am your god. <laughs> Must be one of the big grid security forces. For security guards in the middle of nowhere, they have some awfully impressive weapons. You know, you know. I'm just thinking this as a really, really like weird peach cosplayer with a gun, just like going around. Fear <laughs> me! If I go to Yomakon, I see someone dressed like this. <laughs> Okay, so one thing I want to point out, I'm not gonna do it much, but stuff in the um, environment drops stuff, and I'm doing these just because of this. So you have unicorn horns. You can craft certain stuff in this. You can craft lollipops and stuff. You can craft lollipops. Yeah, that's weird. And these are used to craft those lollipops. Of course, red is for your um, red uh, bloody rose lollipop, which is what increases your damage, your attack damage. Uh, yeah, the baked gecko is for your. Um, Sorry, yellow moon lollipop, and that's for your um, that's to give you invincibility. And then the mandragora root is mandragora root. I'm sorry, is what's used for your herb lollipops, which the name should have, should speak for itself. I, I was gonna say that looked just like marijuana. <laughs> it's about it's, it heals you. So marijuana heals you. Oh yeah, and then you have and then you have purple lollipops. butterflies. That's you have scary. the little ones and then the big ones, of course. And they various... just refill magic. Yeah. Oh my god. So, Pretty self-explanatory stuff. Then you also have green L'Oreal's, which is your I health. do know there's actually an Easter egg with this part of the game. If you break every single bench the yeah. train leaves, yeah. I don't know what the connection actually, is. Actually, there's a hidden item that, I, that you can get from it, which is what I'm going to try to do. Uh, okay. I, I don't know what's the connection, but... There are no benches it's to supposed sell, to, so no one can wait. It's supposed to be for... Oh, yeah, oh, see, coins, it takes the coins. The coins. Uh, base, it's supposed, I guess, I'm assuming it's supposed to be because a lot of stuff has been destroyed, so they go into lockdown, so they have to leave. Even, oh, it doesn't have the noise! They even have the noise! That's like, straight ripped out of Super Mario World. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, yeah, Mario World. 
interesting choice for that. Yeah, Mario World, <laughs> I like it. Yeah. You think they would go with like new Super Mario Bros. Uh, uh, you know, coin sound effect or stuff like that? But yeah, no, yeah. Mario World. Probably just one of the. But that could be and knows what's so up. so much faster if I had Panther. It's kind of funny that. The daisy skin is just a ruby color. But I yeah. mean, I, I don't know, the daisy skin oh, I no, think for No, me... it changes the little charm on her hip too. See, here oh, it has Mario, oh, it doesn't Luigi for, oh. it does Luigi but, for daisy. Yeah. But yeah. you know what, I think, I think it's still a I, reskin. You know, I, but that's I, green Mario. But I think <laughs> the daisy skin just works, I think, a little bit more. I think it does too. Because daisy's kind of a tomboy that kind of character. Thing. I think yeah. that just yeah. works a little bit more. Confirmed. Did you hear the Everybody draw, make us some We Dude 83 plus Daisy. Artwork. No, thank you. What? <laughs> <laughs> as raunchy as possible. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be removed. Thank you, you Charles. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you so much. So, oh, there, oh, there it goes. It left. Choo choo. It? It's leaving. Choo choo, motherfucker. Check it, 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 I need to catch this train! See, I get a half moon. Oh, got the broken So basically what it is, what this does is if you get multiple moon pearls, two of them, it'll upgrade to magic. It'll do a moon pearl, which gives you one orb of magic. Okay. So typical action. And then you have broken witch heart, which is like heart pieces. It's like heart pieces. Capture, you get four, you'll, um... Alright, typical stuff. It's every, from the looks of it, it's every bench in that waiting area and up top. because Okay, you're glowing purple, what does that mean? You have full magic gauge. Oh, okay. See? Alright. I just noticed your shadow was the dominant butterfly. Oh yeah, that's what, they included that in the Wii U version too. Which I'm so happy. Which is amazing. See, even the GameCube had better, like, shadow graphics than this. <laughs> this is, oh. And this is two generations past that. This is Xbox 360. Yeah. We can't figure this out. Okay. Alright. It See seems it. the security system has been tripped. As long as I remain in Purgatorio, I should be able to evade detection via normal sensors. Which means one of the guards probably walked through it and triggered the alarm. Thank you, guard. Mm -hmm. As always, you're a big help. Thanks, Sega. Uh, if anything goes wrong in this game, we just, just blame, blame Sega. Sega. It is shield se shield Sega. shut. Sealed shut. The security system's activation has put the whole area on a state of alert. Yet people can walk Come through on, these guys. doors. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I have to go here. The sphere embedded in this wall is emitting a, w that, emitting a wondrous <clears throat> light and, with, and a resonant sound. Getting closer to it makes it glow brighter, as if it's some sort of ability to respond to it, which is power built in. Which basically yeah, means they built a punch wall it. for witches. Punch it and shoot it. That looks like Twilight Princess by Twilight Realm kind now, of stuff. Now I'm just gonna yeah. say this now. Those parts get kind of annoying later. Yes, okay. but we'll say that for later. Thanks, Thank Bowser. <laughs> this will make my life so completely easier. <laughs> you just Sora? carry it on your it's back. Huge. Is that Sora? You just carry a keyblade. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that thing is bigger than a keyblade. It's probably right, better right, than a keyblade too. I forgot about that. Oh, hey, you can fight them with the key. You can, can fight you do them. That? You can fight them with the key. Oh! oh! oh or you could do that. <laughs> yeah, so I just cut him in half. Watch. It's it's a slow weapon, but it works. <laughs> oh, oh, I like man. the flashy finish on that. I like it. <laughs> yeah, it does that for every match. Hey, and it unlocks the and also, I really wish I could do that. And also, if you notice, in there, one of the things I love that Platinum Games does, and it's something a lot of games should do. Dynamic music. Yes. Because mm. basically, the more you uh, like do better in the fight, the bigger and bigger the song gets. Just that walk. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, for these, I'm not gonna read them. But however, I will put them on screen. You guys can pause the video and walk, read them. Uh, I would like to read them though, but I'm not, it, it just it, takes it's too just long. Take a long time. Because it gives yeah. you a lot of backstory to the whole thing. So. Yeah, you guys could just pause. Reading. And just read this for you guys can't like pause this. Education and lore. Yeah, this does give you lore on the game, but however, it just takes way too long. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. actually haven't read any of these myself. Yeah, this is one of those things. Like once I'm done with the game, I'll uh, like I'll go look through. That. That's, yeah, that's Antonio what I did. Redgrave. That's that's what I did with the uh, Splatoon. <laughs> Antonio yeah. Redgrave yeah. Is, is a reference, actually. And like. Same thing with like uh, Kingdom Hearts and like Ansem reports. Like you get them throughout the game. I only read them, what you know, what right before I'm about to go against the final boss. Okay, so for this, it does reference Antonio Redgrave from Devil May Cry. Ah. That is, uh, um, that is a character that will appear later. Yeah, for for those who don't know, Platinum Games were actually a group uh, that Capcom of Capcom employees uh, that broke off. They made games like uh, Devil May Cry, Okami, Beautiful Joe. Yeah. But basically, um, their games just never sold wait, because they couldn't know how to market them, and Capcom... Her reflection in the water actually looks like Peach. 
It does. Oh my oh, gosh, it does! Oh, that that is creepy. <laughs> Holy crap. When will my reflection show? Yeah, so I wanted to show you guys this. There's nothing down here, but I wanted to show you what happens when you go underwater. Okay. I wanted to show you guys what happens when you go underwater. There's nothing down here. You will not die. Okay. Yeah, it's magic. Because Aquaman. And that's also just Witchcraft! Let's also Aquaman. just take a moment to appreciate how awesome these okay. water graphics look. Yeah. They improve. They good. improve. Well, especially because you can see Peach in the water. Uh-huh. 